My husband and I spent some time in Moscow. During that time, we loved going to this restaurant called Shakalatnitsa for lunch. And my favorite dish to order was Linnaya Zabiganka, which means crepes lasagna. It was delicious and it was always served with a side of refreshing Greek salad. Now that I'm back home, I'm trying to recreate the dish and I'm taking you along with this experiment. There's some prep work to do, so I'm starting with cutting one red bell pepper into tiny little cubes. I'm doing the same thing with a medium-sized white peppers. Next, I reheated the oven to 375 and in a large skillet, I'm starting to saute the peppers and onions. I'm waiting a little bit for the onions to turn translucent and then I put in about one and a half pounds of ground beef. I also put in a six ounce can of tomato paste and then I started seasoning my meat with salt, peppers, cilantro, basil, and some crusted red pepper flakes. Then I'm just mixing it around to make sure all the meat and vegetables are completely brown. And it took about 15-20 minutes. Once the meat is completely cooked, I took it off the heat and start assembling my lasagna. I'm using this pre-made crepes um, that I got from a Russian store. They're very nice and thin and um, so I decided to double it up. So two crepes with some um, organic cottage cheese as the first layer and then I put in some mozzarella cheese. You see I'm being very stingy with the cheese. Um, the next layer would be the beef mixture with onions and peppers and then some more cheese and then that's about it for one layer. So I'm repeating two crepes, some cottage cheese, some mozzarella, some beef, more mozzarella and then the next layer. I basically try to fill up my um, cake form. And I think it fitted about three layers overall. And on the top, instead of putting um, one layer of crepes, I actually just leave um, the meat exposed with some cheese on top. I also put in some Romano um, cheese for this crusty topping. And in the oven it goes. About 30 minutes later, this is what it looks like and I'm very happy with the way it turned out. However, you will see that I'm going to make my first mistake by cutting into it too early. Um, if you let it sit for about 10-15 minutes, it will hold its shape a lot better. And here is how it looks. It tasted awesome and my husband agreed that it was very close to how it was served at the restaurant. I'm not sure if he was biased but it was really good so I hope you would try this recipe out and let me know what you think of Linnaya Zapiganka. Thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you next time. Bye!